Hey everybody, it's your girl Debbie and this is Artist Hustle TV. Today I am talking about how to build your personal brand part two. If you have not seen part one, make sure you check out part one. These are another five tips. I thought that these are great tips for you if you're starting off, even if you have your own personal brand, you just want some extra tips. This is the video for you. Let's get into the video. Tip number one is what is your story? You have to understand what is your story what are you what do you represent one of the best ways to figure out what your story is is how did you get into your field what inspired you what made you want to pursue this we all have stories and people love to listen to stories some of the best people in the industry and business they have a story even if it sounds like cliche or whatever but they have a story your personal brain needs a story and I can use myself as an example. My story is I started off being a dancer for a long time. I've taught dances, I've performed, I've done competitions, and I also went to school for business. And I love to help out the arts and business. And I want to combine those two. And a lot of people kept asking me like, how do I do it? How do I do it? And then when I did go to school, I found out, you know what? Marketing is my thing. I love to market. I love to put it out there. I love to come up with creative ideas. And that's how Artist Hustle was born, was through me being a dancer and an artist but also loving business and i want to combine the two to help artists out there learn the business of their art and that's my story tip number two is create as much content as possible one of the best ways to put yourself out there and grow your personal brand is actually putting out content you can't just put out an article or a little tweet or you know say hey i'm i'm this i'm so and so no that's not enough you have to pump out content constantly because you got to remember you're competing with everybody else out there you're competing with millions of people as much as you think you're not you are you're competing for people's attention and a lot of people's attention is on their phones on their laptops it it it's ridiculous so you are competing with those people so the much as much content as you can produce produce it on your website on social media on, offline, you know, doing events, whatever content you want to do. So an example I would use for Artist Hustle, what I do is these videos on YouTube and posting it on other social media things, giving out tips. And I'm pumping out more and more content as I go. And that's helping build up my personal brand. People understand exactly what I do and what I can help them with. Tip number three is hustle. Put in the work. That is a tip because people don't understand you can't just build a brand out of nowhere. You had to done the work. You have to have something to back it up. You can't just say I'm a brand and you haven't done anything. You haven't gone anywhere. You don't you don't know anything. Put in the work. Put in the work. If that means you stepping back for a little while to produce product or produce whatever that you're trying to do, then do it. But you have to put in the work. You have to hustle. That's the only way you're going to build a brand. That doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, you have to put in the work. And sometimes people look at you like, where did he come from? Where did she come from? It's because they put in the work. And sometimes it is because they just came in at the right timing. But most of the time, the reason why they have long-term success is because they put in the work and they didn't stop once they became successful. And I do that because sometimes you get success and people don't know what to do with it. They just, they get lazy. You don't want to do that. You have to keep hustling like no one knows you. No one there. You have to keep doing it. And that's that's tip number three. Tip number four is network and outreach. I definitely believe in networking. Go to these events. Get to know these people. Tell people about what you do. No one's going to know what you do. And you just never know who they may know that can help you. You have to network. You have to go reach and grab those people. If you want people to know who you are, you have to get out of the internet and I know you're like watching this video you're like what yes you have to get out on the internet you have to go and show people your face in order to get those connections to get deeper and those people that do connect with you online try to find out ways to meet them in on in person because those will deepen the relationship tip number five is monitor your brand so once you do have a name for yourself once you know what you're going to be start tracking it sign up for different tools that will help you monitor your brand there's Google alerts, there's things on social media, say you use a certain hashtag, monitor your results, see what people are talking about, see how your following is growing. One thing that I've been doing this year is really, really focused on putting a lot of content out there, great advice, 
and it's been working. I'm slowly building up my following and I'm really happy about it because I just want to give value, 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 value. I think too many people want their personal brand. Yeah, gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, that doesn't work. You have to care first. People have to know that you care because if you don't care, nobody's going to care about you. And you have to understand that about personal branding because you are the brand and you're in the business of people. Caring for people, talking to people, you're in the business of people. It doesn't matter if you're in tech, music, it doesn't matter if you're in healthcare, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're in the business of people. Even pets, you're dealing with people. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Deal with it, know what you're talking about. These are the five tips. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. If you like these tips, make sure you let me know. And another thing I want you to do, because I always say I want you to take away something from this video, think about other ways for you to create new content for your brand. So if you have a, a brand right now and you're not sure like what to do, maybe you've never done videos before, do videos. Even if you do videos, maybe do a podcast. If you do podcasts, maybe try guest blogging. If you ever if you've done that before, well, try to get on a magazine or try to get a newspaper. Try to put some more content where your target visitors are and get in their faces. And even if that means you spending a little money on Facebook ads or Twitter or YouTube or whatever it is that you want to do, go where your audience is and spend that money and make sure you spend it wisely. Make sure you do the research. But create as much content this year as possible. That's my tip and that's my hustle tip for you today because I feel like not enough people do enough content. It's like we do a little and then we forget. That's not enough. You're not going to build a personal brand by just doing this much and then forgetting and then do this much. It doesn't work like that. So if you like this video, like I said, subscribe. Make sure you share it with anybody else that you know. And I will see you on the next video. All right, bye.